Mark, what's going on, bro? How you what's been? Going on, brother? Been a while. Yep, yep. Uh, what are you getting done today? Uh, ball fade with a comb over. Ball fade with a comb over, like a like a medium fade, mm-hmm. or like you want it a little bit higher, you want it like a little bit lower. Uh, probably a little bit higher. A little bit higher. Yeah. Okay, cool. How much you want off the top? Uh, it's growing out a little bit, so probably just trim it down. Just okay, so you like the length? You just want like a a, yeah. a light trim. Mm-hmm. All right, let's do it, bro. Cool. What's going on, YouTube? We have another tutorial for you. This is going to be. A tough haircut in my opinion because he's got so many different hair growth patterns he's got calyx and I'm gonna point out some things as we go but first and foremost let's talk about what we're doing right now which is creating pretty much a square shape our longest length on the side and you can see the previous time he was cut you can almost see um, little peaks and valleys with this hair that I grab um, and it's causing a little bit of bulk and, and some kind of some choppiness here on the parietal ridge. So I'm just cleaning that up because we're really not going to take much off of the top. Um, in the consultation, he said he just wanted a light trim. And realistically, what a light trim means to me is he likes the way it looks. He likes the length. We just need to clean it up and refine it. So I'm going to be looking for inconsistencies in the cut, um, in the top, clean it up and, uh, the top should be a fairly easy um, cut. Shouldn't take that much time. Here we are doing block graduation because it is disconnected from the top on this side. He does rock a, a hard part, a hard part, a hard part. Yeah, a hard part, side part. All right, I'm done. But you guys get what I'm saying. It's disconnected. So we're doing block graduation on this side. Now, again, we're just going to trim the top very lightly, just kind of dusting off the ends and just making sure everything is even. What I found here was that the top was actually longer than the front, the fringe area. And he does want volume. He wants kind of like a, a voluminous um, comb over. So we are going to use the actually use the, the fringe area, the front, as the guide for the rest of the haircut here at the top. And one of the things you'll notice is I'm constantly checking my guide just to make sure that I have an even cut. So you can see I move the hair, check for my previous cut, and go ahead and use that as my guide. Now the cut is pretty much done on top. I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry the top and get it ready for clipper work. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and go straight to our number three, run our number three into the shape we've created with the shears. We're not gonna cut into that shape because then we'll lose it. Um, and what I really wanna do is control that bulk. I wanna keep that bulk. I like the way it looks, um, especially with like a side part comb over um i think it looks dope when you leave some some bulk above the ridge so for this cut i'm actually going to start off with the clipper clothes we're not going to use the trimmers um it's kind of like a like a different route that i'm taking now just because so many of you guys um find it more comfortable cutting hair this way so i mean i for me it's 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 the same as far as taking the line out but so we'll go ahead and start to take this line out here at the bottom all right so at this point we're going to use our number one guard open And with every step, guys, with every section, with every guideline, I'm paying attention to the color of the hair. If it seems to get too light when I use a, a one open, especially, then I know I have to adjust. I have to make some diff some changes because I don't want to end up, in, um, you know, blending this out and it just it looks really really light on the sides like almost one length and you don't really see a transition in color so you really have to manage that all right now i'm using my half guard opening and closing it as needed to get, go ahead and take out this line so our next step i actually skipped the two open like i typically do, do and went straight to the one and a half guard all the way open 
and at this point i'm really using kind of like the the flat part of the guard almost like the beveled part i'm sorry the beveled part of the guard like the back of the guard because i'm not really going teeth in i'm trying to avoid creating another line as you can see and then once we're done with that right underneath we'll go ahead and go back to our number one guard open to take finally take out that line that you still see there as you can see And guys, one thing I've been noticing with this, with the YouTube videos is whenever I ask if, let's see if we could do 1500 likes this video, you like, you guys make it happen and it helps with the algorithm. So I'm going to continue to do that because the last two videos I dropped, um, we haven't even broken, I don't think, I think we barely broken a thousand. So, and no, I'm not doing this for the likes, but I would like more people to see the video if it'll help them. And so if... You know, making sure you get likes and comments and engagement helps with the YouTube algorithm. I'm going to I'm gonna push and ask you guys every now and then to, to help your boy out with some likes, man. All right, so at this point, we are using the number two guard. And this is the final guard we're using because, remember, we started with a number three. And at this point, we're just going to go in in detail. And now we'll start to debulk all that hair that's left on the bottom. Now it doesn't look perfect right now. Once I line him up, um, I you, you guys know I'll go back and I'll detail. To me, that's where the magic happens. And we are using some trimmer over comb, just because I I do want to blend the the bulk above the parietal region just a bit, but I don't really want to take too much of that length off i like the way it looks it's not for everybody but i like the way it looks so he his hairline was a little a little pushed back just a little bit um and so what i decided to do was not go back to the old lineup and um instead i lined it up naturally added some enhancement used a uh, get beams technique that i learned from him with the color pencil and now i think that it looks it looks dope and what's cool about it is by the time the color is gone um his hairline would have grown back you know to a whole nother shade a whole nother color so it might actually fill in by the time the color comes off all right so now we're going to do pretty much the same exact steps on this side so i'm not going to explain this side as much as i did the other just follow along with the color guide on the bottom left corner i want to make sure you guys are retaining this information So this side was definitely a lot tougher than um, the other side, in my opinion. And you'll see what I'm talking about. His hair growth patterns are crazy. Um, you can see the cowlick sits a lot lower on this side than than um, on the other side. And so I'm I'm gonna I'm going through my system as quickly as possible. And you'll notice I'm gonna go through this system. It's not gonna look good, in my opinion. And I'm and then I'm gonna line him up. But after I line him up and I go in detail this side will start to look pretty dope in my opinion and like i guess through the process your eyes could play tricks on you man it it looks pretty good it's looking pretty good but watch when i put the line up on him you're gonna see a bunch of imperfections Do you guys notice how his occipital bone like sticks out a bunch? This is why above the occipital bone, 
I'm trying to keep some weight there. I'm trying to make it look like his head is more squared than it really is. So we didn't really take a lot of, we didn't cut a lot off with the shears, especially in this section back here. And honestly, if he kept, if he keeps coming to me, I will um, allow that to grow in a bit more. Cause you see how the cowlick is like jumping up and it's already pretty long. You gotta let that get even longer for it to lay down. And so this is what I would consult my clients. I would tell my clients this stuff um, or my customers this stuff. And at the very least, it'll lock them in for a few months because they want to see um, they want to see what you're envisioning. Um, they want to see exactly what you're talking about. And if they understand it, they're going to appreciate it. Once you do accomplish that, that total look that you're striving for, it's just going to take time. If you communicate that with your customers and they stick it out, they let their hair grow. I'm telling you, like this this particular client right here, his hair would lay down so much nicer. So look, I'm lining it up, I'm putting the color on them, and you can see all the imperfections. I thought it was looking dope as I was going through the process, but that's just human nature. Like that's why we need the mirrors. That's why we need different lighting. Our eyes will play trick play tricks on us. So now that I have it all lined up and I can step back and look at what's going on and not be just so in the moment. Um, I can go back and start to detail and you'll see the difference once I do that. And honestly, what I'm doing here on this side, because it was kind of all over the place and it was hard for me to figure out um, where where I needed to detail. Um, I just kind of started blending down, going through all my steps again and blending down. And as I'm blending down, I understand, you know, what guard I'm at, at what level. Then I can really start to detail and um, go, go a little bit tighter wherever I need to go tighter so that I can give the illusion of a balanced fade. And you guys can see it like at least in my opinion I think it's looking a whole lot better I'm telling you this is not an easy client all right so final step the shaver and then we're gonna line him up he, his hairline is gonna be lined up because the way his hair grows in the front it's actually better if he lines it up in the front or his hair would have to be really really long to to sit in the style that he likes his hair to sit and i'll show you what i'm talking about in a little bit All right, so I'm gonna style his hair just because I want the hair that's supposed to be sitting in, you know, in the, in his final look. Um, I want that to be separated from his hairline. Like, do you guys see that cowlick there on the left side of his head? That's causing his hair to actually lay forward. So this hair that's disconnected from what's sitting on top wants to lay forward. And the problem with that is if it's too short, it's always gonna lay forward. He would have to put a whole bunch of product and hairspray to keep it up with the hair that's laying up um, into the comb over. So instead, he likes to go ahead. He doesn't. He likes to go ahead and line it up, and I don't blame him. So I just wanted to show you guys this shot because I actually was trying to use the mirror here because his hairline ain't easy. All right, he also wanted a hard part. So what I typically do is I just, I line up the top part of the line first, and then I'll detail the bottom of the line. Um, but like with, 
people like like him with his corner that looks light like that I'm scared to use the clipper the trimmer on the bottom part of that line um so I use I use the razor because I feel like I got more control all right I'm using a pick just to give it a little bit more volume we'll, we'll spray some hairspray in there and freeze that final look into place but of course not before we detail it a little bit more All right, guys, this is the before. Look at the after. Woo! <laughs> I like the way it came out. I like the bulk above the occipital bone. I think the gradients is there. I think this haircut came out dope, especially considering the canvas we had. This is not an easy canvas, man. So let's see what he thought about it. You see it? Yeah. What do you think, bro? Yeah, this girl is clean. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Appreciate you coming through for that YouTube cut. Hold on, don't click out. Don't click out yet. I'm here at Headlines Lando Lakes, about to get blessed by S Craft Blends himself. This is the before. This is the after. See this? This is a secret I've been keeping. Y'all didn't know I could look this good. I don't want this to be in the public that often, you know what I'm saying? Because I just don't want the attention. You feel me? Yo, Shannon, S Craft Blends, one of the best barbers in the world. Make sure you guys are following him. He has a YouTube channel with a whole bunch of amazing content, and the content's just about to get even better. S Craft Blends, y'all. Beast. <laughs> 